so interesting about these golden touches from OpenAI for some of the big publicly traded companies is usually OpenAI has been given a sweetener by NVIDIA or by AMD. Broadcom, it just seems to be independence that they give to OpenAI. Yeah, and I think the model here is the Google GPU model. I mean, when you think about Broadcom's almost $20 billion run rate for AI chips, more than half of that is from Google GPUs. Mm. So what OpenAI is saying is you help us get there in terms of the ramp up like uh, Google GPUs, which is in their seventh ver uh, like, uh, version of uh, chips. I mean, and they've done it at a very quick pace. So from that perspective, it will help OpenAI reduce costs of up to 30 to 40% per gigawatt. If you think about, you know, one gigawatt takes yeah. uh, 40 to 50 billion. A one gigawatt with Broadcom chips would be at least 30 to 40% cheaper because the cost of those chips is the highest component in that gigawatt build out. So Broadcom helps you lower that cost of chips. And I think that's the model here that, yes, we want merchant silicon, but we also want custom silicon with Broadcom because that's the kind of diversification Google has, and that's why their cost of infrastructure is the lowest among all the hyperscalers. Well, do the read across for the TPUs coming from Google. Who else is in the mix there? Because here Broadcom says, I'll help you custom design a chip. I'll help you with networking gear. Yeah. But there's a lot more to an AI data center than all of that. Absolutely, and you need to source the power. You need all the other deals. But in the end, when you look at you know what Amazon is trying to do with mm -hmm. Tranium, they're doing that with Marvel. Microsoft is doing that with uh, Marvel as well. And they haven't had the same kind of success that Google has had with TPUs, with Broadcom. So to my mind, you know, it was natural for OpenAI to try with Broadcom, given the success that, again, Google has had compared to everyone else who is trying to do custom silicon. And yeah, they will do deals for power. That's what OpenAI is good at in terms of sourcing different providers. That's what Sam Altman has shown. But clearly, chips is the component that costs 60 to 70% of the data center. So you want to make sure you get that at the lowest cost. You, you won't be able to do that with NVIDIA. Mm. NVIDIA will still be the highest cost uh, chip provider, even though they are making an investment. AMD has, uh, will likely cut its cost, but it won't be the same performance per watt. Broadcom will do it custom specs for you, and then they can do it at scale that Google is doing. And it's for inference. And I'm interested if you can interpret when OpenAI, Sam, and, and Hoktan get together on a podcast and announce this sort of a deal, what is it that by understanding your own large language model and the needs of it that can really be built into the custom silicon? I mean, just this past weekend, I read about tiny recursive models. So everyone is looking at how these large models can be run more efficiently in terms of inferencing costs. And you know, whether it's tiny recursive models or some other form, you want minimum latency, mm. as well as you know, power is your real constraint, so you want maximum performance per watt. So if you're optimizing for those two, you are going to go with custom silicon because that's what Google has shown us. They can you run YouTube videos best because it's their custom silicon. No other merchant silicon can give you that kind of performance, and I think that's what OpenAI is going after.